What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. In this video, I want to review the Thrunight Catapult Pro. And this is a thrower flashlight. This thing is just absolutely amazing. It can generate 2700 lumens. And this is a long range flashlight. It's a thrower. And it's made for throwing a beam at a long distance. And I have used this flashlight extensively already for elk watching at night. What I'm going to do at the end of this video is I'm going to attach some clips of me using this flashlight to spot elk at night from distances of several hundred yards away. But it's a really simple flashlight and it's really powerful, 2700 lumens. The price is really good and it's very heavy duty and high quality. Okay, look at the quality on this light. It's not cheap at all. The aluminum is really thick and it has a side switch activation. It doesn't have a tail switch. It just has this button here on the side and it's really simple to use. You have an infinity mode and basically it works like a dimmer switch. So to turn the light on, you just push the button. And if you want to adjust the brightness, you hold down on the side switch and it's like a dimmer switch. You see how it dims down and when it gets to the lowest setting, it'll blink twice. And then when it gets to the highest setting, it'll blink twice. So it works like a dimmer switch. And if you want to get to the turbo mode, 2700 lumens, you just double click. You double click and that'll get you to the turbo mode 2700 lumens and then if you triple click you get to the strobe mode and the strobe mode is great for self-defense it also has a firefly mode and the firefly mode is 0 0.7 lumens and this is good for just reading a map and conserving the battery life in a survival situation or if you're taking this thing out into the woods for a couple of days and you don't want to drain your battery looking at a map or checking your backpack, the Firefly mode is just absolutely awesome. And it'll run for 42 days on the Firefly mode, guys. That is just insane. And the Strobe mode is 776 lumens and it'll run for three hours in the Strobe mode. And the lowest mode, it's 42 lumens besides the Firefly mode. But the actual flashlight, if you dim it all the way down, the lowest setting is 42 lumens. And it'll last for 53 hours. And then if you go all the way up, you get 1500 lumens. And that'll last for 2 hours. And then if you go to turbo mode by double clicking you get 2,700 lumens and that'll last for 90 minutes, okay? It has a maximum beam distance of 1,000 meters, guys. That's one kilometer. And I have actually tested this light and it does throw really, really far. And it has an impact resistance of one and a half meters. So you can drop this thing one and a half meters from the ground and... It'll resist breaking or cracking. It's just really nice knurling. And it's waterproof to two meters below the surface of the water for 30 minutes. It's IPX8 waterproof. And it uses a 5,000 milliamp battery, a 26650 battery. Let me show you how massive this battery is. It's just absolutely insane the size of this battery. Look at this thing. It's just a monster battery, 5,000 milliamps. It comes with this battery, and this is rechargeable, guys. Okay, so you can recharge this thing hundreds and hundreds of times. And it's got just a massive output, 2,700 lumens. And the LED that they use in this light is a SFT70, okay? So, and again, this is a waterproof light. It comes with a wrist lanyard here, okay? You get this wrist lanyard, and then you also get these spare 
O-rings and uh, charge port covers and click switches, okay? So this is an excellent light, guys. Highly recommend it. Stay tuned for some footage of me using this thing to spot elk. And it also comes with this holster here. And this belt loop is nice and wide. I think that's probably about a three inch wide belt loop, which is really nice because you can put this thing over a tactical belt. So I'm really impressed with this light, guys. So stay tuned for some footage from the field of me using this thing to spot elk. That's so funny. That bull is scratching its back with its antler. Look. That is the funniest thing. Literally scratching its back with its antler. Wow. That is just hilarious, guys. Have you ever seen anything like that? <laughs> Wow, that is just so funny. Hilarious. Looks like he's got an itch. That's just so bizarre. Hilarious. Just scratching his back with his antler. It's so funny. I'm gonna use my bugle tube in a second, try to give him a call. See if he calls back. Well, that's just a monster elk, guys. Is literally the funniest thing. Guys, I am literally like 10 yards away from this cow elk. It's just insane. And they're so tame here because this is a piece of private land and it's a refuge so they don't allow hunting here. So all these elk come here and they know that no one's trying to kill them. Except of course the uh, bears and coyotes and possibly mountain lions. But it's just incredible how, how close I am. These elk, it's just crazy. I could literally like pet it if I wanted to. Look at this. Just insane.